Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to model a ramp and platform in Civil 3D just like the one that you're seeing on the screen right now. So here you can see I have an existing surface and it is sloping to the right at a grade of about 2%. And if I click on it and see what it looks like in the object viewer, this is what it sort of looks like. So I have drawn in a platform as represented by this square and I've assigned an elevation of 30.2. 25 for my platform and if I click on the existing surface and my platform and see what it looks like in the object viewer you can see that the platform is slightly above the existing surface and here I have a spot elevation of the existing surface and at this point it's about 29.55 so our building platform is about 700 mils higher than the existing surface. All right, and to the left of the platform, we have our ramp. And you can see that it's about 10 meters in length and it's two meters wide. So what's gonna happen is people are gonna walk up the ramp from this side and up the ramp and onto the platform like that. This means that the finished levels of our ramp has to tie in with the existing surface at these two corners. So when we turn this rectangle into a feature line, the elevations of these two corners will be the same as the elevations of the existing surface. And then these two corners up here, these two corners will have the same elevation as our building platform, which is going to be 30.25. And if I just zoom in here, you can see that I've created a small offset between our ramp and the building platform. The reason for the separation is when we add our feature lines to the surface as break lines. This small gap here will let Civil 3D triangulate our surface properly and form a connection between our ramp and the building platform. This will make more sense once we create the surface. Okay, so now we can create our feature lines using these two polylines. So I'm just gonna come to home, click on feature line, create feature lines from objects and select my two polylines. and I'm going to click OK. All right, so now our feature lines have been created. And if I click on the building platform and come to the elevation editor, you can see that every vertex of this feature line has an elevation of 30.25. And let's click on the feature line for the ramp. All right, so I haven't assigned any elevations yet to this feature line. And that's what we're gonna do now. So let's come down to these two corners. And if I go to the elevation editor, these are the two corners of the feature line. So as mentioned earlier, these two corners will tie into the existing surface. So what I'm gonna do is come to this box over here called relative to surface, and I'm going to select existing surface. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on this box here and change this to relative to surface as well as this one. And so now you can see that our current elevation, which is zero and zero, which is zero for both corners, is significantly lower than the existing surface, as you can see here. So what I'm gonna do is change these two values to zero. So that there is no difference between the elevation of these two corners and the existing surface and you can see our actual elevations have changed. And this will match the elevations of the existing surface. So now I can click on this and go back to none. And just to double check that we've done everything correctly, we can click on the existing surface and add some spot elevations. And you can see the elevations of our feature line and the existing surface match up perfectly. So now what I'm gonna do is set the elevations for the other two corners over here. And these two elevations are going to be the same at 30.25. And looking at these values here, we can see that our hill is going to have a gradient of about 7%. And this is a fairly acceptable gradient in terms of accessibility for ramps. So now let's take a look at our feature lines in the object viewer. Okay, so you can see our platform and ramp taking shape and it's looking pretty good. 
So now what we can do is create our surface and add these feature lines as break lines. So I'm going to come to surfaces and create a surface. And I'm going to call the surface proposed surface. And I'm going to click OK. So now what I can do is add them to the proposed surface as break lines. So I'm going to click on proposed surface. OK. And I can leave all of these options the same and I'll provide a brief description. Now you can see our surface has been created. So here you can see a retaining wall has been modeled in. And this goes back to what I was saying about that small gap between our ramp and the building platform. Without that separation, this triangle won't be able to form and we won't be able to see this retaining wall modeled in. And I usually just use a separation of 50 millimeters. So now what we want to do is do a bit of grading around the edges of our ramp and platform so that it doesn't look like our platform is just floating in midair. So what I'm going to do is create a polyline around the entire boundary of our surface. And now I'm going to create a feature line from this polyline. And I'm going to click on assign elevations here. And I'm going to assign elevations using the elevations from our proposed surface. And I'm going to uncheck this box for now. So the purpose of creating this feature line is so that we can use it to create our grading. And let's see if the elevations have been assigned correctly to this feature line. And you can see that the elevations assigned to our boundary feature line looks pretty good. So now what we can do is click on this feature line and go to grading creation tools. And I'm gonna click on this button to set the grading group and it's just going to be grading group one and site one. Then I'm going to select a target surface and it's going to be the existing surface. And I'm going to click on this drop down and select surface at slope. Then I'm going to click on create grading. And so now I can select the feature line that I just drew. And I'm going to select the grading side which is going to be outside of our ramp and platform and I'm going to click yes to apply to the entire length and since our ramp and platform are both elevated above the existing surface we're not going to have any cut so I'm just going to set turn one as the default value and then for fill I'm going to select 0.01 and essentially this is going to create a retaining wall around our ramp and platform. Okay, so now you can see that the grading has been created around our ramp and platform. And let's take a look at what this looks like in the object viewer. Okay, cool. So you can see that the grading worked pretty well and our ramp and platform are no longer floating in midair. And whenever we create grading, Civil 3D also creates feature lines that come with the grading. So if we zoom in here, you can see that a feature line has been created from the grading. And if I click on this feature line, you can see that it wraps all the way around our platform and ramp. And I can add this as a break line to our surface. And I'm gonna select our proposed surface. Okay. And now let's look at our proposed surface again in the object viewer. And yeah, so you can see our hill and platform have been successfully modeled in Civil 3D. And yeah, that's it for this video. And thank you for watching.